New Creation Women. We're so happy to be with you again today. I'm Pastor Laura Lee. And I'm Pastor Patty. And we've been talking about shame and guilt mm -hmm. and freedom, how we are new creatures. This program is called New Creation Woman, mm -hmm. but we are all new creatures in Christ. That's Once right. we have accepted Jesus into our life, the old is washed away and we can be freed from the past. We were talking about guilt and yes. shame and all the things that many people carry from our past. And this is the second program, so we hope that you were able to watch the first one. If not, we're going to just go ahead and we're, no. we're talking about, we were talking in the last program about guilt and shame yes. and true guilt and false guilt. What I gave a definition um, about true guilt being, um, it's when I've wronged another person. Mm -hmm. I committed a sin. False guilt is I have not lived up to what I think I should have done or somebody else mm -hmm. thinks I should have done. We carry a lot of false guilt then when other people try to put things on them that they think we should have done. And then uh, illegitimate shame. Now mm. we started to talk about shame in the last program. Shame is anger and not measuring up. Fear of rejection or abandonment. And I think yes. you, would, you looked up the definition for uh, shame, right? I did, and it's a, it's a negative evaluation of oneself and shame always deals with a general feeling of being inadequate, inadequacy, which is one of the scriptures that you had used in the last portion uh, out of Romans. Yes. If you want to share that one more time, yes. that was perfect. Well, thank you, Lord. In Romans 3, 23 and 24, the apostle Paul wrote, for all have sinned and all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet now God in his gracious kindness declares us not guilty. Yes. He has done this through Christ Jesus, who has freed us by taking away our sins. And then Paul goes on and says, can we boast then that we have done anything to be accepted by God? No, mm. because our acquittal is not based on our, our good deeds. It's based on our faith. So, and so we are made right with God through faith and not by obeying the law. And that's in Romans 3, 27 and 28. Mm. That's right. You know, when God removes our sins, he does a great job. Yes. And it says in the Psalms, he has removed our rebellious acts as far as the east is from the west. Yes. So God, we have to trust God. Yes. It's about trusting him to remove those things and then and not mm -hmm. picking them back up mm -hmm. again. I don't know mm -hmm. about you, but sometimes I've in the past, I'll pray about something and I'll put it down and I'll lay it down and I'll trust God and say, okay, God, it's in your hands. And then yep. a little bit time later, I pick it back up again. And we don't want to pick up, no. you know, those past shame and the guilt and the regrets. We let them go because Jesus, God sent Jesus, his son, to the earth to suffer and die on the cross for our sins, yes. for all of our sins, so that we don't have to suffer and we don't have to carry them around. Yes. We can be free. We're new creatures. Thank yes. you, Jesus. And the scripture says that he whom the son sets free is free indeed. Yes. So we're not above God's kindness and, and goodness to us and his grace. He, he said, I sent my son. I set you free. Yes. So now you're free indeed. Yes. And, and I believe that Pastor Laura Lee has shared in the past, which I'm going to ask her to share this now, is a fact about a pattern. You know, we have to, in order to develop new habits and patterns in our lives, it's, it's hard sometimes for us to forgive ourselves. So we want to take it back on. But if we just will we'll release it, and any time it tries to come back, just give it right back to God. Yes, right, that's Pastor right. Lori? Yes. You shared about habits and patterns. It takes a long time to form them, it's and sometimes it takes a long time to stop blaming ourselves yes. from guilt of the past. It does. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the current uh, neurological research said it takes three cycles of 21 days to mm -hmm. form a new habit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the brains and the neurons, and I don't understand all that technical yes. stuff, but, you know, some of our habits we've done for years yes. and years and years. and and you know, and sometimes you can be instantaneously freed. Yes. I, I you know, the Lord does healings and He does yes. restoration and He does um, supernatural deliverances. I can tell you for myself, some things I was just freed of instantaneously. Yes. Never had a desire to go back and do them again. Yes. And other things were more of a struggle. Mm -hmm. I, I really had to pray. I had to write out the scripture on yes. note cards. I had to read the word because that's how. The devil defeated mm -hmm. Satan, uh, mm -hmm. Satan was by reading the yes, word. Yes, the Lord defeated him by the word. And I would yes. read. I would carry the note cards around with me in my purse and, mm -hmm. and driving, and I would carry them, and I, I would have to speak the mm -hmm. word out loud mm -hmm. because 
some some things and some patterns and some strongholds. You know, mm -hmm. yes. you were sharing with me this morning about we were we were talking about some spirits um, of alcoholism yes. and drug addiction, and you actually yes. the Lord led you into some history. Yes, some on history. that um, mm -hmm. Bacchus and what was it? Yes. Um, it was Bacchus. It was it was dealing with alcoholism. It was dealing with pharmacia. It was dealing with drug abuse. Um, and you know we're going in that area of abuse, and the Lord is leading us right now uh, because we need to talk to you also about self abuse. Yeah. You see, there's a self abuse when we get into those patterns and those and those lines of thinking about ourselves in a negative way, and we haven't forgiven. There's a self-abuse that comes. And what do I mean by that? I believe that, you know, when we deal with self-abuse, we it, it's just a constant thing that somebody has said over us. Yes. And it is a generational curse. And it is a stronghold. And somebody watching right now may be, may be thinking that, may be looking at that and saying, you know, I do. I repeat in my head thoughts that somebody else said about me. Okay. Isn't that yeah. very true? Yes. So what does the Lord do? The Lord breaks those things, and that's what we need to do right now. We need to start this program and break those self-abuse yes. thoughts Thank you, that Jesus. have been declared over people. We're going to break those yes. thoughts, Pastor right Lorley, you, you and Jesus. I together. Thank you, Thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank we, you, Lord. we right now, in the name yes. of Thank Jesus, Jesus. Thank we you, come Lord. against the self-abuse thoughts, the mind torment, the mental torment, the emotional torment, and that has come against you in the name of Jesus. And we break those yes. strongholds right Thank now you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, and Lord. we cause your eyes to see clearly, yes. your heart to receive Thank from the you, word Jesus. of God, yes, and Lord. your mind to think clearly in Jesus' name. You, Jesus. We dispel those thoughts, yes, those Lord. harassing thoughts that are coming into your mind of self-abuse. And yes. even you may be abusing yourself yes. with those thoughts. Yes. We break that, de that demonic hold right now. We break it off of you Thank in you, Jesus. Jesus name. Thank Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. You know, the, the Bible is full of promises and his words Amen. about um, breaking those thoughts and about freedom yes. and being free. And John 8, uh, 3 says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You don't have to look these up. Um, John 8, 36, so if the Son yes. sets you free, you're free indeed. Yes. And then Galatians 5, 1, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm. Yes. It tells us to stand firm. We need to stand on his mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. It's not what... I say about you, mm -hmm. it's what God says about yes. you. Yes. We need to receive what God says about us and, and who we are. Yes. Not what somebody else says or even our own mind. Yes. You know, our mind will play tricks on us and it tries to bring up, and that's the devil. The, mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the Lord doesn't bring up the past. No. The Lord says he threw our sins as far as the east from yes. the west. But this, who's the one that tries to, is the accuser of the brethren and tries to bring up the past and mm -hmm. tell us, and, and it's, you s we talked about this earlier. I believe it's because he wants to stop yes. us from our calling, yes. from helping others, from being able to do uh, his word, his will. That's right. You know, I, I wouldn't even be here today because <clears throat> naturally, I'm naturally shy. I'm not, I'm not the one that speaks. My husband is usually the one who's on TV and at church and he's speaking. But, you know, I pray and I ask the Lord to use me. Yes. And if I, if I listen to that little voice, it says, well, you're not, you're not a speaker. You're not good. You're, you know, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today. That's and, right. And the Lord would try to stop me from being able to help somebody else. And that's the only reason I'm here today. Yes. Is that we want to share what God has given and in His Word to help you, so that you can be a strong women of God and that's new right. creatures. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. And the Scripture tells us in John 14:1, it says, "Let not your heart be troubled." Believe in God. Believe also in me. So Jesus was saying that if you believe in God and you trust in the Lord, and no matter what has come against, guilt, condemnation, self-condemnation, self-abuse, no matter what that is, if we believe in God and we trust in him, that we're, our hearts won't be troubled. Yes. He'll, he'll give us peace in our hearts. Yes. And we won't have to, we won't have to worry about um, what somebody else is saying or what happened in the past or what's going to happen today. The Lord gave me this in the beginning, in, in this morning. And here's what it says. It says, guilt haunts, shame hurts, and regrets halt. Oh, that's good. 
That's guilt good. haunts us. We're haunted with guilt at times. But but Jesus was our guilt offering, and he broke all that yes, guilt. So we yes. don't have to be haunted. What did the scripture say in John 14, 1? Let not your heart be, be troubled. troubled. That's right. Don't be troubled. Mm -hmm. Shame hurts. Why does shame hurt? Because it hurts our heart. It makes us feel bad about ourselves. And, 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 and the Lord, he heals our hearts. And he says that he raises us yes. up. He said, I raise you up. I bring you up to, this, to, to the high place. We're the head. We're not the tail. That's right. And regret halts. And That's we talked right. about that just a few minutes ago, Pastor Lorley. Yeah. Regret halts. It stops us. When we live in the past, which is regret, it stops us from moving forward. That's right. It can freeze. It just freezes just you. Just freezes yeah. us. Yes. So you don't want to move on or move ahead or That's do what right. the Lord calls you to do. But in the Word, it says there's no condemnation yes. for those who are in Christ Jesus, Romans 8, 1. And who is the, the thief? In John 10, 10, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. But Jesus says, I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. And someone once said, you know, the devil wants to kill us, and if he can't mm. kill us, then he tries to make us miserable. Yes. So don't let him make you miserable. No. You know, we don't have mm -mm. to allow those no. things to come in. People could try to put guilt on you mm. or put shame on you, but we don't have to receive it. No. I've been um, speaking with a friend of mine from the church, and you know, she's carried around a lot of guilt and shame, and it's unjustified. It's not even for anything. And people will try to put stuff on mm -hmm. her, but it's like a ball. Mm -hmm. Somebody throws you a ball, mm -hmm. you don't have to receive it. You can let that ball just mm -hmm. <laughs> fly right on by and say, no, I'm not receiving that guilt and condemnation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's not mine. Right. So and we, when you begin to say that, too, and when you begin to declare the word of God, and you begin to say that, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My God loves me with an everlasting love. Yes. And, and, and with loving kindness, he draws me to himself. Jesus Christ was my guilt offering. See, those are all declarations from the word of God. Yes. And, and when we have things that come against us, as Pastor Laura Lee said, that people try to put on us, we don't have to receive it. What we, what we do is we declare, this is what God says That's about right. me. So I'm going to stand in what God yep. says about me, and I'm not going to receive what you say. And if we do that long enough with people that try to hurt us or try to send that in our direction, they'll eventually get the hint, and so will the enemy. And the Lord is always victorious in our lives. Amen. Yes, Amen. always. Amen. And that's true with anything. You know, the devil will try to tempt you in an area, and, and we were talking before about making new habits. Yes. And eventually, if you keep shutting that door and not receiving yes. it, he gives up because it's not working, so he's going to try something else. Exactly. So that's why it's really important that we keep you know, shutting all the doors. My, my husband did a teaching mm -hmm. about doors and gates, and you know, our, we're tempted by our senses, Pastor Patty. Yes. It's by what we see, what we hear, uh, what we smell, what we taste. What and we feel. What we feel, mm -hmm. yes, our senses. Yes. So we need to be very careful mm -hmm. about guarding yes. our senses and guarding mm -hmm. what we listen to and what we mm -hmm. see and what we hear. So if you're watching this program today, we're so glad that you're with us. We want to encourage you to invite your friends for the next program. You could have a little party, and it's a new creation party So That's because right. we're new creatures, and we're not those old. The old has passed away, and it's new. Yes. And I'm not sure when this program is coming uh, to you, but, you know, every day is a new day, and it doesn't matter what happened in the past. Yes. Some Behold, all things have become new. Yes. 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 And Pastor Laura Lee, she is wonderful at always having people gather together to have coffee and to have tea and to share. So just as she was saying that, wouldn't that be wonderful just to have some women over uh, or ha have people over into your home and have some tea and just after the, while this program is on and then after the program is over just to share the yes. word of God together Amen. and to fellowship together and yes. to talk about these things and to pray together yes that's pray. The, that's the key we need each other and it's yes. wonderful to watch this program mm -hmm. and it, and I love watching uh, Christian TV yes. but it's really important to get into uh, to be with other believers yes. yes we need each other I need you pastor yes, Patty I we, need you we pray together every day yes you need to get into a body of believers and it's wonderful that you're watching but we're going to encourage you to at least get into a home yes. prayer group if you can't get into a church if you're if you are fortunate enough to have Christian churches nearby 
you get into a fellowship. I love being in yes. with the other um, saints of the Lord, and we come together and we worship the mm -hmm. Lord, and the music is just yes. so powerful to get, to get under the anointing. Yes. And, yes. and even today, I, I believe the anointing yes. is going out over the airwaves, yes. and Amen. I thank you, Lord, for healing, delivering, and yes. setting those captives free. Yes. We talked a little bit about freedom. Yes. And, you know, the devil would try to keep us under condemnation and the guilt, and, and that keeps us in a box. It we're, does. We're not free. No. But I have to say we need boundaries, too, because yes. freedom is also, there's freedom in having boundaries. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you have children and grandchildren, and, you know, if we just let them do whatever they want. <laughs> it could be harmful. <laughs> yes. It could be harmful. You know, we, we have a choice. We can do whatever we want. But there's consequences to what we do. That's right. And, and so we always want to protect. Uh, and as Pastor Laura Lee said, when you think about your children or your grandchildren, are you going to allow your two-year-old your two-year-old child or your two-year-old grandchild to go out in the middle of the street where all the busy traffic is and, and where there's bad people or something's going to happen? No, you're going to protect them. And so that's what God does for us. He says, you do have free choice, but here's what's best for you. Yes. And that's why we have the word of God, because the word of God is our directive. Yes, it is. It is, it is what, what is in our life, what the Holy Spirit puts in our heart. He said that I wrote my word on your heart. Thank you, Lord. And so we have the word in our heart but we have to read it and we have, and we to, have put to put it, it there <laughs> we've got yeah. to put it in our heart we have to put it in and there. for me sometimes i have to write it out too because just reading it isn't yes. enough it's and it, it's good to read it out loud and it's good to put your name in there like who the sun sets free is free indeed I, laura lee i am free indeed thank you lord for setting laura lee free yes. put your own name in the word but we need to get it in our hearts. Yes. It's not just going to come, you know, what do they say? Faith comes by hearing and hearing, hearing by the word of God. Right. And that's some instruction, Pastor Laura Lee, that, that you have in your daily devotional prayer life, which is important for you to have. Yes. What she does, what I do, it, those are important instructions as to how you can walk through right. your life and through your day. How does your day start? Pastor with Lee. prayer, I have to start with prayer. If I don't start with prayer, Pastor Patty, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, do you put Do you put on worship music sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends if anybody, somebody else is sleeping. I, I could put it on, but when I'm really under heavy attack, I mm -hmm. put it on. Yes, because that praise music floods the atmosphere. Yes, it does. It it, it does something that, to break through, and it dispels what's trying to hang yes. over. And and do you have a special chair? Um. I do. Yes, mm -hmm. do you too? Yes, I yeah. do. Yes, I do. So there may be a yes. special place in your yes. home that you can spend time with God. Now, we have to understand that we walk around all day and pray. That's right. So we're right. not taking any guilt. Uh, we're not having any um, religiosity or anything like that. We, we walk around all day. And Paul said himself in the epistles, pray without ceasing. That's right. Yes. So we pray all day without ceasing. We worship all day without yes. ceasing. We could be on a job. You could be on a job praying mm -hmm. and just it's just going on in your spirit. But there are those practical things that we have to do every day to yep. spend time with the Lord. And that's where, you know, we want to instruct yes. as well. Yes. Because yes. I, I don't know about you, but I don't always naturally wake up Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. No. <laughs> um, my, you know, my mind goes to the negative and yes. I start to take on all the worries and the bills and I have the bills spread out all over and how am I going to pay the bills and da da da. Yes. And so I have to really fight back. Yes. And then especially in this area where we live right now, it's gray a lot. Yes. There is a, um, you know, we don't see beautiful sunrises or sunsets right. that some of you might be blessed enough to be able right. to look at. And I really have to fight through the the gray uh, oppression and depression yes. that tries to come in the wintertime and especially in this area. Yes. And it's by what you said, you know, putting on praise music, yes. reading the word, confessing the word. And I, I write it down. And you write it down. Yes, I yes. do. Yes. And as Pastor Laura Lee said, she goes, she gets up and she sees all the bills and she, <laughs> I, well, I, I usually get up in the morning and I hear all the complaints of, of sicknesses. So I have to take authority over that. Yes. You have to take authority 
over if you get up in the morning and you don't feel good or something's going on whatever has a pattern mm -hmm. in your life you have to take authority over yep. to make it what god says it is that's right yes that's so right. we declare healing yes we lord. declare healing you, in jesus. your lives yes, in the lord. name of thank jesus you, we jesus. declare you, financial prosperity yes. over you thank in the you, name jesus. of jesus thank we you, declare open doors yes, of opportunity thank before you, you yes, in lord. jesus yes, name jesus. and we declare that you will have forgiveness in your heart yes. that will break every chain off of your life in jesus name we're going to talk about forgiveness okay aren't we? yes we are yes okay. we are well, and, and one one thing before we go into forgiveness we were talking about boundaries yes and you know in galatians it, there's actually boundaries are in the bible mm -hmm. there's there's guidelines um galatians 6 7 says you reap whatever you sow oh. so if you sow to your own flesh you will reap corruption yes from the flesh but if you sow to the spirit you will reap eternal life from the spirit and i know yes. this program yes. goes on eternal <laughs> life hello to our friends hello. in pakistan eternal life ministries we're so honored to be part of your station yes thank you for allowing us to be part of your programming yes but there is a law there's there a law is. about reaping and sowing it's a cause and effect mm -hmm. the bible calls it the law of sowing and reaping yes. so when god tells us that we will reap what we sow, mm -hmm. he's not punishing us. Mm -mm. He's telling us how things really are. Mm -hmm. If you smoke cigarettes, there's a good chance that you're gonna get lung cancer. Mm -hmm. So you can get a smoker's hack, or you you know you could get lung cancer, but we pray you don't, yes. but you need to quit smoking. Yes. <laughs> if you're overspending, then you're gonna cause a financial burden for your family. Mm -hmm. And in this country, we have these wonderful things, credit cards, yes. and people, will spend and spend and spend, and then they have all these bills. That's not always the case in our house, but we have, you get bills anyway, right. but you don't want to overspend. Or if you're drinking, you, you're going to have problems. Yes. If you keep drinking, problems can lead to cirrhosis of the liver, mm -hmm. and my cousin died from that. It's not a pretty death. It's and broken very, relationships. Oh, my gosh. Any addiction, Any addiction will break relationships, whether it's pornography, Yes. Whether it is um, alcohol or drugs, as we talked about earlier, Bacchus, which is uh, alcohol, pharmacia, which is drugs, any kind of addiction will will hurt and harm the individual and the family members around them. That's true. Mm -hmm. And since we're going to talk about forgiveness, I have to tell you, in my studies and in my praying with people who were former addicts um, and and it, it were addicted to different things, a lot of them self-medicated, Pastor mm. Patty. They self-medicated because of the hurts and the past and the, the abuse or the mm. shame or the guilt. And so they tried to self-medicate to, to deal with that instead of, clean. you have to clean it out. And sometimes yes. it's painful. Yeah. And you know, writing it get out. Get to the root. Yes, you have to get to the root. You have to get and to you the have the to root. have a godly mentor or a godly person that can help you root. with that. So. You know, we have to forgive ourselves. Yes. So oftentimes, if you were stuck in that cycle of uh, uh, addictions or mm -hmm. abuse or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, um, you, you need to forgive the, the people that abused you, mm -hmm. but also forgive yourself. Yes. So we're going to talk about forgiveness, yes. right? As we talked in our last station, when you, when you shared about acquitted, and that was acquittal, and that was in your version of the Bible, um, when the Bible talks about being acquitted. You know, we're we're totally set free, and and it's the love of God. Yes, it's the love of God that that brings us to repentance. It yes. says it's the Lord's loving kindness that brings us to repentance, and so we're thankful that we can repent, we can be free from guilt. Yes, and and we can be forgiven and forgive others and forgive others. Yes, yes. you know what did Jesus say? Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. It's really important we need to not carry around unforgiveness yeah. so that we can be free to forgive others, forgive ourselves, and be new creatures because that's what this program and is all about. Yes, we yeah. are new creation women. We are so thankful that we are not mm -hmm. the people that we were in the past, that everything is washed away, as you talked about on the chalkboard, and we have a clean slate, that every day is a new day. And you can begin your day over at any time. So yes. we thank you, Lord. We thank you for yes, new beginnings, Father. Father. Yes. We thank you for a new, new, new something new, Lord, yes. that you are doing something new. Amazing love, that yes. we are free, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for your amazing love, that you have forgiven us so that we can forgive others, even as the, his word said. So we thank you, Lord, yes. for this day. Father, be with our listening audience, Lord. Help them, Lord. 
Help them in everything that they do, Lord. Bless them mightily. Yes. Give them joy this day. Give them your peace. Give them, let them yes, walk Lord. with forgiveness, Lord, with their heads up, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity yes, to come Father. into their homes, Father God. Yes, Bless Lord. them mightily. Thank you, Bless Jesus. Them, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Bless Lord. you, Lord. Thank you, thank Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Lord, Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Lord we, we release Lamentations 3.23. For the Lord's loving kindnesses mm. indeed never cease. Yes. For his compassions never fail. They're new every morning. Thank you, Great Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. So new creation, woman, you are new every morning. Thank and you, And God Lord. is faithful to perform everything that he promised. Yes, he is. Jesus thank name. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you want to write to us? Look at on the, your screen right now, info at newcreationwoman.org. Yes. We want to hear from you. We want to hear what the Lord is doing in your life. And we just bless you and give you all the praise. Father God, in Jesus' name, bless and yes, Lord. We go in the love and the peace of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. God praise bless you, Lord. You. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.